In today's episode of Authentic Charleston, we look at someone in the fitness industry who I was introduced to back in 2011. Let everybody know who you are, Lane. Uh, I'm a meathead who likes science. Uh, <laughs> got into bodybuilding when I was young, uh, and then did a BS in biochemistry, PhD in nutritional science. Um, kept lifting, did powerlifting, won two national championships, got silver medal at Worlds, set a then world squat record, and did also bodybuilding and won a natural pro card. They actually have natural bodybuilding, believe it or not. <laughs> For a few years, I followed many fitness influencers and YouTubers. Around the spring of 2016, I stopped following everyone in the fitness space when I realized the prevalence of fake natties, fake plates in Instagram workout videos, and Adobe gains. The amount of fake people in the fitness industry doubles or triples the amount of fake gurus in the internet marketing world. Lane is definitely not a fake guru. I recently went on his YouTube to see if he was still active in the YouTube community only to find out that he loves calling out fake gurus just as much as I do. What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what that means. It's what the fitness time. I was pleasantly surprised to see just how vicious Lane is towards fake gurus in the fitness world. He has a series titled What the Fitness where he debunks a popular trend permeating throughout the fitness social media world boosts testosterone and burns fat and works like magic. I feel like this is like some kind of parody and I keep waiting for the, the punchline, but it never comes. <laughs> His channel is worth subscribing to just to see him absolutely destroy gurus in the fitness world who are spreading non-truths to their communities. And by the way, there's always an element of conspiracy to these people's claims. It's the same playbook. And it, actually, it's funny, um, if you look at uh, you know, plant-based people, plant-based zealots, they use the same sort of logic insofar as, oh, there's this deep, dark secret that the government doesn't want you to know about, and that industry has paid off all these people. And then also the low carbohydrate people use the same thing. So it's, it's pretty interesting that they're on opposing sides and literally use the same arguments. One of the reasons why I love Lane is his ability to counter an argument as well as Floyd Mayweather counters in the ring. Remember students, what is one of the absolutely most important metrics for determining if a guru is real or if they're just another charlatan? Past education and experience. Lane graduated from Eckerd College with a degree in biochemistry and received his PhD in nutritional sciences from the University of Illinois. As far as I know, he's been in the lab researching any and all angles of nutrition for years and how the body responds to specific stimuli. Any question you can think of to ask regarding nutrition, training, bodybuilding, current diet trends, everything has been answered by Lane in some form of media online today. One of his more interesting videos was him and Holly's video detailing how they sent a popular nutrition product to a lab to get it tested for its actual nutritional content. So one of the only things that really stood out to me that could possibly be an error uh, was the label on these um, food products. So we actually decided to send away a couple of these brownies and cookies to have them analyzed to see what their actual nutrition content was. We're talking double the calories here, so, and more, so. Yeah. This experiment by these two gave me an interesting YouTube channel idea. Take popular food items and send them to a lab to see the actual nutritional breakdown versus what the label promotes. If you can afford the expenses, I can almost guarantee that this content strategy could pull serious views. This idea may have been influenced by Casey Neistat's popular video. Some of bodybuilding.com's most popular videos on YouTube are helpful tutorials from Lane describing perfect form for the three most important lifts in the gym, squat, deadlift, and bench. One thing I really like about Lane is that he's always referring to a scientific study done with actual research to formulate an argument. A new study researcher, study research, new study, very cool study, metabolic ward study research, a study, there is a study. There can certainly be flaws in any kind of science and research, especially when dealing with a topic that contains as many variables as nutrition and fitness. But I much prefer listening to someone who relies on actual research 
versus someone who does not. In addition to his research in a lab, he has also trained thousands of people through his online training programs and indirectly from his content throughout the years. He certainly has enough data now to know how to solve basically any issue with nutrition and fitness. One thing I respect about natural bodybuilders who are able to attain the physique that Lane reached in his prime is that they had to have a deep understanding of diet and fitness regimens. Without help, you have to really understand the body and nutrition's effect on your appearance in order to reach a sub 5% body fat physique while maintaining such large amounts of muscle. All right, all right, enough about shirtless men. Back to Lane ripping a fitness guru. This week, less than a week after his original post, I believe less than a week after his original post, uh, turns out he is selling a vegan ebook. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Dude was uh, not vegan about a week ago and now is an authority on veganism to sell an ebook. Hey Joe Rogan, what have you noticed about Lane's YouTube channel? Lane, I've been paying attention to you online for a long time. One of the things uh -oh. you do a great job with is just calling bullshit <laughs> on, I mean, you love to call bullshit, clearly. But whenever people are overstating claims or people get ridiculous, and I think this is one of the things that is a problem with any diet where people get really enthusiastic about it. One thing that's ridiculously unhelpful in the fitness community is how many influencers or product sellers try to pigeonhole every single person into a specific diet. They're financially incentivized to get you to buy into what they're selling. With social media, trends in the diet and fitness space can take off like wildfire. The Game Changers is a great example of this. The documentary on Netflix became a smash hit and immediately 20% of the country wanted to become vegan. With these trends, the immediate response is for people to believe the hype and spend the next three weeks on that diet while promoting their new lifestyle change all over their social media. What I like about Lane is that he is one of the few in the fitness industry who understands that the only diet that works is the one that someone will follow. There's never going to be one diet that just fixes all of our problems. It depends on the individual and what they're trying to get out of it. It doesn't matter if the selected diet is carnivore, vegan, bodybuilder, if it fits your macros or South Beach diet. He preaches that as long as you are reaching your goals and can stick with the chosen diet, then it's the right diet for you. Lane is definitely not a charlatan. He checks all of the boxes for being an authentic guru. Lane, please keep your What the Fitness and Free Friday series going. They are a joy to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, welcome back to another What the Fitness. And this week, we've got somebody who's appeared on the channel before, not as What the Fitness, but as one of the top five worst offenders of science.